And it's 848. We continue our candidate uh, interviews today as we are in an area very close to Calgary Klein and a couple of others as well. Uh, but to joining us this morning to talk about his time as the representative here is incumbent uh, Craig Coulihan from the NDP. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, so we're asking everybody, are you from this riding? Mm. So I did live in the riding until they changed the boundaries. So I live in Capitol Hill, which is really adjacent to the riding. It's in Mountain View now. So, I mean, I can walk to Rose Mountain one minute. My kids go to school in Collingwood, which is in the uh, riding, and I'm very connected to the riding. So what do you feel, as a, a resident in this area, what do you think are the big issues that you see personally here? So, certainly the Green Line was a big disappointment that it didn't go up Centre Street. Uh, I did hear the UCP uh, candidate talk about the Green Line being important, and it is. I have no idea how we, they plan on paying for it because we're funding it through the carbon tax. So that's very important. I mean, Centre Street is a very busy corridor. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you'll see the buses, the number three bus going down there is packed by 40th. So people are having to wait uh, sometimes two and three buses. So it's a very important piece of uh, infrastructure. It's all dollars, though. I mean, it's nice to have, the, the, as you say, the fu available funding to do it. But there's just not a lot of money right now. Well, that's why it's great to have the carbon tax, because we're funding projects like that. Great. Right? To, you just said it's great <laughs> to have the carbon tax? Well, you, you know what? You get a little pushback on it, that one. Well, you know what? As of yesterday, it's getting imposed on other provinces that don't have it. So it's coming whether you like it or not. And at least here we have a made in Alberta solution and we're using those, uh, those funds to fund things like the, the Green Line. Is that the number one infrastructure infra, uh, issue for you, Craig? It's a big one. I mean, schools have been big too because uh, they, they were kind of left untouched for a long time. So we have two big infrastructure projects on schools right now in Klein, in uh, James Fowler about a $27 million um, upgrade. I just toured it recently. It's fantastic. They got a full uh, auto body shop in there now. And uh, St. Francis, the high school in uh, Klein as well. It's a huge project. They're expanding it and it's still done. I was touring that too. They're still under construction. But the Springbank Dam is extremely important and we can't waffle on this. I mean, I know it doesn't necessarily impact directly Calgary Klein, but 60% of people that live in Calgary Klein work downtown and mm -hmm. if that gets flooded again, We've got problems. So you got uh, the Jeremy uh, talked about uh, the UCP wanting to do a little more study. Uh, I think we know the position on the NDP, and that's uh, go for it. But you've been in power for four years. Why not make that happen? Yeah, it's going to happen. I mean, there was negotiation to be done about appropriation of land, and uh, we've actually got over the, the biggest hurdle on that. So it, it will get built. As you do your traveling around, you're knocking on doors. How how many hours a day are you spending knocking on doors right now? Anyway, I'm not going to lie, I'm tired. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. So, what are you hearing from the people when you you get to the door? Are, are people angry? Are, are people still you know pushing for jobs? Is that the number one thing, or, or what are you hearing from the community? Well, jobs certainly. I mean, the economy has been pretty good in the last few years in terms of GDP growth. The issue is, has been a bit of a jobless recovery, and uh, you know, I feel for people that are out of work. But, you know, people understand that this is a, a, um, an election between Rachel Notley and Jason Kenney, right? So there's a very stark contrast. You know, we're, we're trying to help uh, put money in people's pockets with, with a $15 an hour minimum wage, a $25 a day daycare, paying for prescriptions for seniors. And, uh, you know, Jason Kenney wants to roll back the minimum wage and he wants to give uh, his corporate buddies a $5 billion tax break. That's really resonating with people. Well, a lot of people, though, believe by doing some of that, they're going to create the good jobs that will enable them to afford the types of things you're talking about. So it's a different philosophy for sure. But four years in now, uh, you know, when, when people are saying Rachel Notley's on her way out, what's your response to that? Uh, I think well, <laughs> I think if you underestimate Rachel Not Notley at your peril, honestly, the polls are rising for us and dropping for them. So I think uh, you know they understand that we stabilize the economy by building infrastructure. It was very important. We put people back to work. We had a, a massive infrastructure deficit. Um, if, if you ever think we were debt free in the past, you're, you're kidding yourself. We were not. I mean, billion dollars in. Well, hold on. I've been here uh, long enough to remember, you know, <laughs> paid in debt, and there was Ralph uh, cutting that in half. So we were down to zero. And, no, uh, we weren't. Well, uh, yeah, I think we were. But we weren't. Uh, we're not at 100 billion, which is what the NDP is pushing us towards. Well, quite frankly, our, I mean, the UCP is not far off. Our path to balance is only a year out from theirs. And, you know, I mean, I could pay my mortgage if I didn't eat. That, that's what the Klein era was doing, right? I mean, paying down the debt, but we had leaky schools, we had bad roads, we had terrible uh, public uh, transit. So you got to pay for these to things. To balance for you? Yeah, we can get there, yeah. 
Okay, well, I think that it's going to be a, an interesting run. We've got uh, sure. another, uh, what, a couple of weeks to go and heading into the uh, the 16th for Election Day, a lot more door knocking in your future, I imagine. Absolutely. Good luck. Looking forward to it. Thanks a lot. He is the incumbent for uh, Calgary Klein here, Craig Coulihan for the NDP. It's 8.50.